All right, guys, we're here with John Warren from Hasbro Design. What can you tell us about this uh, product that we're seeing here? Well, up top here you have the uh, new fan belt combiner. This is a uh, this is the result of of um, uh, tra Transformers fans from around the world were actually able to vote on to create their own combiner. They were able to choose things from color to uh, faction, Autobot or Decepticon. What part of Cybertron she was he he or she was from, whether it was a male or female, uh, as well as all sorts of other little details on this thing. And and um, the fans the fans spoke and 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 uh, fans voted from all around the world. They used the uh, the Transformers app this time around. So they brought us the first female combiner, which is kind of a, a revolutionary thing. They also selected this cool color scheme uh, that's it's almost reminiscent of the 1990s Transformers, uh, and we kind of played off that. Um, they've selected a, a different kind of entourage of vehicles. That each one of each one of these was was part of the polling. And the, one of the really unique things is they selected two helicopters. So what we did was we we said, oh, two helicopters. That's pretty rad. So we ended up making them into twin sisters. So um, you'll see one of the twin sisters has got um, like sunglasses and lipstick. She's kind of the more she's the tougher of the two, a little more a little more sinister. And then the the good the good one, the good side. So almost like two two sides of a different. Person. Personality, and like the old, um, kind of like the old uh, Tomax and Zaymot from GI Joe, oh, they're yeah. almost reverse of each other. So if you look at the tooling of the chest, you'll see that their their detail is reversed. So one has faction logo, so um, they, the the deco on them is actually reversed. Yeah, like Zaymot had the the shoulder pad here, the other one had the other. Yeah, one. right. Yeah, so yeah, so we're trying to riff off that a little bit. Uh -huh. What part of Cybertron do they come from? They come from the Sea of Rust, which is this like in un, hard harsh kind of. Uh, nasty place to Cybertron, and um, they're there, kind of protecting relics. Uh, the IDW series is going to is going to kind of tell this out, um, but the idea is that they're you know they're survivors, and I think it's it's the uh, it's their tough environment that's actually really shaped them and uh, caused them to become closer together as a team. And I think that they're not your traditional Transformer female group. I mean, they're tough as nails. They're uh, they've even their silhouettes are actually a lot more like strong arm from the robots in disguise. They're, they're a little more boxy and blocky. Um, I think they define they defy your traditional gender um, description of Transformers, which is something I find personally really exciting for the brand. All right, and where do fans can expect to get these figures? Are they going to be sold separately, retail, online, or in a box? They're they're sold all together as part of our series pack collection. They're going to be out middle of next year, and um, just like the just like the guys here on the second shelf, they're going to come together with a with a collector card and a poster. So fans who Fans who voted and fan, new fans around the world are going to be able to um, all own um, Victorian together as a, a single set. So it's really what's cool about her is that the idea of teamwork really is reinforced. Even the weapons are all modular and they can connect together to form a big single weapon. All right, guys, that's it from Hasbro right now. This is Hunter Knight signing out. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like our new Facebook page, the Toy and Pop Culture feed, with the latest happenings in movies and pop culture, as well as the latest merchandise. Thanks guys, this is Hunter Knight signing out.